Good morning, everybody. I will share screen now. And we wait just for one minute so that the others join and then we'll start, okay? Okay, guys, so we are going to start with a new reading lesson for this week. Um, this lesson is different from the reading lessons that we have explained before because um, it's somehow uh, more informational, more uh, expository, okay? So first of all, we are going to start with the reading uh, with the title of the lesson. The monster in the mountain. Who can tell me when you see the title, what do you think about? By raising your hands. Yes, Samia. Yes, Samia. Miss, I will allow you to unmute yourself, but do not unmute unless I ask you, okay? I think about a monster that um, basically lives in the mountains. Okay, yes, Hassan. Let's see if Hassan has another. Hassan Zaini. Uh, I think it was like an adventure and they found like a weird creature in the mountains and they could not. So, um, okay, so you know guys think... what is that creature? Okay. So you guys think that it's like monster, like literally a monster, right? No, no, I, I think it could be a bear, but they, they're seeing it as a monster. Yeah, but I mean, I, yeah, but I mean, you mean in general, something which a creature which is dangerous. This is what you all thought about. Yes. Okay. Don't you think that a monster might sometimes be something else other than a creature? It could be a storm like something dangerous. Yes. Or like, uh, or like collapsed rocks, I think. Very good. So it could be something natural, right? Yes. You know, something related to nature, something which is happening due to, um, due to nature, right? Right. So it might be something caused by nature and it is a monster. So, you know, sometimes when you face a certain natural disaster or you face something which is, um, let's say, very uh, uh, harmful, very destructive, it's also a monster, right? But a different kind of monsters, right? Right. Miss, am I shouting to you because I'm wearing headphones? No, you're not. Okay. Okay, so this is the title of our lesson, The Monster in the Mountain. So we are going to discover what is this monster in the mountain? Is it, a is it literally a monster? Is it a certain dangerous animal? Is it something which is uh, uh, 
uh, harmful? Is it a natural disaster? We'll see. We'll discover this together. Okay, let's start. First of all, let's start with the objectives. So review the keywords, introduce the theme, identify the genre of the text, practice comprehension, cheat, and identify metaphor simile. And there's something else which is personifications. Okay, so today we are going to start with a new comprehension skill, which is the metaphor, the similes, and the personifications. Miss? Mm. Yes, miss. Um, sorry, I left an attack. It got a band. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, let's first start with the lesson. Now, do you change, did you change your mind about the word monster after you have seen the picture? Guys, did you change your mind? Yes. Yes. You have, you have seen this picture. What do you think now? What is the monster? It's, uh, it's an a explosion. explosion. It's an explosion. Maybe it's an explosion. Very good. What else other than explosion? A um, hurricane. Maybe a hurricane. Very good. But you think it's something related to natural disasters? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this might be correct. So the monster that we are going to talk about in our lesson today is a natural monster, a monster that's happening due to natural powers, not due to um, anything else. Okay? So the monster in the mountain. <clears throat> Let me ask you a question. How do natural forces affect Earth? Who knows? Yeah, and how do natural forces, the powers of nature, earthquakes, uh, disasters, all of these, how do they affect the Earth? Maybe by destroying it or like causing destruction. By killing uh, people, injuring people. By destroying or causing destruction, or causing anything. And destroying the, like, the cities, mm -hmm. like, like a, like a, like a tornado can destroy trees, the grass, the Very habitat, good. everything. Very good. Very good. So this And might the earthquakes can cause cracks in the ground. Excellent. So all of these are caused by um, the natural powers, by the powers of nature, okay? Read how a scientist studies forces that cause volcanic activity at Mount Vesuvius. Okay, so we are going to talk about a scientist who um, was studying why the cause of the volcanic activity at Mount Vesuvius. There is a mountain called Mount, Mount Vesuvius and a scientist called Marta uh, Ramirez was trying to study the force of this volcano. Why is this volcano happening every time at the same time of the year, every year at the same time, at the same place, okay? So she was trying to find the reason why this volcano is happening, okay? Are you ready to start? Yes. Okay, let's start. Yeah. Hassan Zainuddin, may you please start reading the first paragraph? Meet Marta Ramirez. Meet Marta Ramirez. Miss, sorry if, if it, because it's not clear, I'm using a laptop right now. It's clear, it's clear, don't worry. Okay. As a young girl during, during World War II, Marta Ramirez saw news reels what so as a young girl during world war ii marta ramirez so uh yes news reels oh news reels that showed b25 airplanes flying near smoky vessel yeah, what am i reading you, you skipped a line smoky plum oh 
a smoky plum of a volcano eruption. The year was 1944, and Mount Vesuvius, 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 in at in Italy was erupting. Blankets oh. of burning ash were seen smothering Mothering. the airplanes. Airplanes shred. Charge. Airplanes. Okay, let me just stop here. So as a yes. young girl, she was a young girl in the World War II when this volcano started erupting. Okay, so she was a young girl. She saw um, the uh, airplanes, B-25 airplanes flying near the smoky plum of the volcanic eruption. So these airplanes were flying, maybe they were trying to help. The year was 1944, so this happened in 1944, and Mount Vesuvius in Italy was erupting, so it was exploding, it was erupting. Blankets of burning ash were seen smothering the airplanes. You know what do you mean by, what do they mean by burning, blankets of burning ash? So you know the, um, the, the um, what comes out of, of the volcano is called an ash. It's called a volcanic ash, okay? So continue, Hassan, shards. Uh, shards of volcan volcanic rock rock came plummeting, plummeting from the sky. Yes. Soldiers on the ground ran for cover, each glow, glowing. glowing splinter of rock was like a deadly bullet. These uh, images, I think, images? Yes, those images never. Oh, never left Marta. She has been fascinated by volcanoes ever since. Miss, there's this big thing. Yes, yes. Okay. Ever since when she got old, Marta, Earned degrees in geology and folk uh, geology. So she studied. Vol she studied everything related to volcanoes, to Earth, to study what is the reason of this volcano. Because she grew up watching this volcano in Mount Vesuvius. She so she was curious to know what was happening and why was this happening. So she was fascinated by volcanoes. She loved volcanoes. Okay. Yes. So. Though she has studied many of the world's volcanoes, she returns again and again to Mount Vesuvius. So she has something, and she has a certain relation with, with, this, with this volcano. She thinks that this volcano uh, belongs to her. She wants to know everything about this volcano. That's why even though she studied many different uh, volcanoes um, other than this one, but she returns and uh studies again the volcano of mount vesuvius marta has climbed down into the smoking cart crater many times the smoking crater it means the top of the mountain she has climbed there in the following memoir she describes one of her visits and why this volcano still inspires her work so of course there's something that attracts um this woman to this volcano there's something special about this volcano that attracts her and there's something special that allows her to because it's, it's like just pushing her to study this volcano more and more so what she did is that uh now or what we are going to read now is why is she um still inspired by this volcano why is this volcano still inspiring her till now what's the reason okay Look, I will continue reading because I think it's like the font is very small. You can't see. So I will continue reading. OK, yes. 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 I opened the lecture. Now I can see very clearly. So if you want yes, to I, I opened the book. I oh. have the book. Okay. Me too. OK, great. Me too. Okay. I have the book. Too. Yes, Samia. Samia, read at the monsters. Who can explain just the subtitle at the monster's mouth? What do you mean by at the monster's mouth? They probably mean the opening of the volcano. Excellent, the opening the entrance of the volcano. In the mouth. Yes, the top of the volcano, the opening. Very good. 
Okay. Uh, I recent. Should I read? Yes, Samia, please. Okay. At the monster's mouth. I recently went to see this dynamic volcano again. I decided to climb in it. I decided to climb its slope along with dozens of curious tourists visiting that day. As okay. we walked our shoes, so I, recently, from the just a second. I recently went to see the dynamic volcano again. Why did she say that this volcano is dynamic? You know what you mean by dynamic? Means one of a kind? No, dynamic means something which is always working. So she described it as a dynamic volcano because this volcano never stops. It's always erupting. I decided to climb its slope again along with dozens of curious tourists visiting that day. So she climbed this Mount Vesuvius with uh, dozens of tourists, people who were just visiting this place. Continue. Miss, um, just one question. Yeah. So we're reading like the, her point of view because on the first paragraph they were talking about like it's like a narr narrator the paragraph the first paragraph is from the third point of view the author was telling us about this person he was introducing Marta Ramirez to us now she is telling us what's going on or why did she do yeah. that because she used it's uh, like her diary yes exactly it's, yes okay that's it. thank you continue as we walked our shoes crunched on the cinders that had been dropped there long ago Finally reaching the rim, we gaze at the spectacular view. We stared 800 feet down into the crater. It was quiet for now, but I knew it was only sleeping. Fre frequent tremors that, and small earthquakes prove that this monster is not dead. Did the others standing there with me know about the danger beneath their feet? Okay. So um, as we walked, our shoes crunched on uh, the cinders uh that had been dropped there long ago so it's crunched yeah there's tr doing this crunchy sound okay as if like breaking that had been dropped there a long a long um, long ago finally reaching the rim we gazed at the spectacular view gazed like we were trying to look we stared 800 feet down into the crater it was quiet for now but i knew it was only sleeping what was only sleeping uh the volcano the volcano still not erupting volcano. very good so the volcano was only sleeping so she knew that this volcano isn't over yet she knew that this volcano is not going to end up she knew that this volcano is now just sleeping relaxing uh, just in a rest but it's going to wake up again yes, but when how does a volcano die no, I mean, doesn't, we don't mean like die, die as a human being, but it ends up, no, no, no. it doesn't erupt again. Oh, that means it's like over. Yeah, it's over. Okay. But this one, no, this one was dynamic, was a very hard worker. It never stopped. So frequent tremors and small earthquakes prove that this monster is not dead. So due to some studies in geology and so on, things that we do not understand actually, they realized or they noticed that this volcano is not dead. Did the others standing there with me know about the danger beneath their feet? So she was asking herself. She was a volcan. Um, she studied uh, volcanology. She was. Uh, she studied geology. So she knew the dangers of these things. She was standing on her feet. The things that were beneath her feet. Okay, but she was wondering where the people with her aware or were the people with her um let's say uh, do they know do they know what the, what is there beneath their feet did they know that there is a monster beneath their feet there is a huge volcano who nobody knows at which second it erupts even if they were there so they were really doing a great adventure Okay, if you look at the model below, um, this model shows how Mount Vesuvius formed, where one plate of Earth's crust pushes against other, another molten rock, this collision, and so on. So this is this this um, model shows us how a volcano uh, erupts. Okay, and you know, what happens? It's just a um, a model. Okay.
Is everything clear till now? Yes. 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 yes? Is it difficult? It's not difficult. Try it. No. This no. Is no. No. no it's easy. Yes. Okay. It's not no. difficult. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. Samia was reading. Let me choose somebody. Muhammad Jawad, do you want to read? Yala, Muhammad, read. Yeah. Every time I see Wait, Muhammad, this volcano up close. Oh. Up close, yes. What's what he here? I said, I'm a fan of the book. Okay. What do you okay, mean no, up, up close. close? I see it up close and I see it closely. I'm near to it. I'm yeah. very close to this volcano. Continue. I, I think about it had roared like a lion back in 1944. The trembling earth shook buildings for miles around and streams of scalding lava flowed down the sides like glowing great fingers, they stretched out to crush of defenses homes defenseless homes below. Yes. It must ha have been terrifying to witness in person today the, the lava that once cascade, cascaded. Cascaded, cascaded down the mountain is hard and dry it looks a bit like the skin of an elephant okay so every time i see this volcano up close and i'm very close to this volcano i think about how it had roared like a lion back in 1944 so every time she is there she remembers what happened um, during the world war ii in 1944 when she was young and this volcano erupted okay the trembling earth. What do you mean by trembling? What do you mean by the word trembling? Does it mean like shake? Shaking. Very good. So the trembling. So the trembling um, earth shook buildings for miles around and streams of scalding lava. What is lava? And the lava. You know the lava the, is the liquid thing salt. that comes out of the volcano. Yeah. Yeah. So the lava flowed down the slides like glowing red fingers because they are very bright orange. They stretched out the crushed defenseless homes below. Defenseless homes means the homes that cannot defend themselves. They cannot do anything about it. It must have been terrifying to witness in person. Today, the lava that once cascaded down the mountain is hard and dry. Why is it hard and dry? Because it dried up over all the years. Yes, yes, exactly. It dried up through years. It looks a bit like the skin of an elephant. Okay, so as you can see, Aslan, in the pictures, I think it's clear. It's clear here in the pictures. It looks like um, an ear of an elephant. Okay. Okay. Miss, can I read? Who's this, Mawar? Sufan, yalla yalla Mawar. Yes, Miss. Looking ahead. I don't go into the crater anymore, but I often think how Vivius uh, threatens the environment around it. Today, the city of Naples lies at its foot of the mountain Vivius. If the eruption occurs tomorrow, the city won't, will not be ready. Tons of ash and rocks would once more be hurled into the air. The volcanic debris would keep cars, planes, and trains from operating. People would try escaping on foot, Sadly, no one can outrun such an eruption. Okay. The only sure way... To... Just a second, please. So when the monster awakens, it means when this monster starts, what happens? There is a lot of documentation of Vesuvius' past. Uh, geologists have gathered this evidence of earlier eruptions by studying the rocks that were formed. So they were studying the rocks of these... Um, of this Mount Vesuvius uh, volcano to know why is this happening and um, 
So the rocks that were formed before 1944, the most catastrophic eruption occurred in 79 AD, a Roman writer named Pliny and the younger uh, described it in detail uh, in his letters. On um, the morning of that tragic day, no one guessed that an enormous volcanic explosion was about to pulverize tons of rocks and send it raining down on the city. People couldn't know uh, how that thick, dark ash and fiery lava would completely destroy the nearby cities of Pompeii and uh, Herculaneum. By evening, few people had survived. So this is what happened in 79 AD. And even before, um, what's her name? Before this uh, scientist have even born. Let me just remember, um, Marta. Okay, Be before even she has been born, this happened, okay? Many smaller eruptions have occurred since then, including the one in 1944. Volcanologists believe that another major eruption could occur uh, at any time. The probability grows with each passing uh, year. Okay, so every year passes, the probability of a volcano to happen increases. The probability grows with each passing year to watch for geological uh, changes within Vesuvius. We have set up uh seismographs on the slopes of its cone these instruments measure the slightest shifts in the rocks beneath so they put on the mouth of this volcano um seismographs these measure any uh movement in the rocks beneath the mountain so they can tell people when um, is a volcano going to happen so they can leave their homes. During one dangerous but exciting mission, I climbed down into the crater it myself. Um, my crew and I worked on mapping what was going on underground. We also measured the gases leaking from small vents. Any sudden increase in carbon dioxide and other gases might signal an eruption. I will stop here. I just want to tell you something very important. You have a listening test today. I will open it at one o'clock and I will, um, um, it will end up at one o'clock tomorrow. So you have 24 hours. In the listening test, fi video, hala, bil Google form, into when you go to Google form, mish bitleo awat, and I added an image or something. This time I added a video. So you will find a video. In the video, you press, خلاص, you play. Oh, it's not a video, يعني, it's, مثل هلا, كيف أنا, I record the lecture, it's same. Um, you listen to the video, to this record, listen carefully. وفي عندكم an exam paper, هي one page, يعني, only. You listen to the paragraph, to the listening paragraph, and you answer the questions, listening عادي, as if the teacher is with you, but recorded in my voice. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, okay, miss. Okay. Okay. Um, is the video on the application? No, no, no. It's not on the application. It's not on the application. I will send you the link on the WhatsApp group. Okay? Okay. At one. Missed? Yes. But Anna, my phone is not with me. It's on the Salih with. So, your mom isn't in the group, in the uh, parents' group. Yeah. Me? No, no, she left. She Me, my of... mom left. She also left. Type those who don't have their mobile phones. I think you can contact your friends in any different way, Yanifa. It's not that difficult. You can get the link. Okay. 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 So thank you okay. all. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.